Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how we can integrate Mixpanel to a website using Google Tag Manager. Now Mixpanel is, if you don't know already, is an analytics tool, allows you to you know, do all kinds of tracking on your website or your apps. It's specialized in you know, apps where you have user profiles because it really shines in that. But on a normal you know, public facing website also, you can definitely track a lot of useful information. And I have chosen Google Tag Manager because I wanted a solution where any kind of tracking changes that I want to do should ideally be a no code kind of platform and Google Tag Manager really helps us do that over here. So let's get started. So the first thing that I have done is obviously my blog site already has Google Tag Manager loaded because I am using Google Analytics and GA4, hence the Google Tag Manager modules, module on this Nest.js website is already implemented. Now, the only thing which we will have to do is add the Mixpanel integration so that we are able to track all these events on Mixpanel as well. Now this is my Mixpanel project. It's a new project basically. And what we will do is start implementing Mixpanel here. The only change which, the only rather configuration which I have done is I have added a Mixpanel project token, which is available inside the settings of the project. Okay, you can get it there. I've added that and now the first thing that we will do on Google Tag Manager is get the templates which allows us to easily implement Mixpanel. Now, because I have already used it, it is showing me over here. Otherwise, you can go to search and you can search for templates. Okay, so these are tags which are available with Mix, uh, with Google Tag Manager. Mixpanel has published them and they are easy configurations which you can use. Once you have done that and this is visible inside your tag templates, I will show you what are some of the triggers that I have. So I have a trigger called page view next.js, which basically happens on history change because this is the next.js application is a you know, SPA kind of a thing. It is important for us to track the history change. I have some events being fired for you know, the scroll. I want to see how many users are scrolling through my homepage or through my articles page so that I get a general sense whether the users are reading or not and how much deep they are going into it just to understand the time spent by these users. Then I have some beta testing going on so I wanted to ensure or rather check how many users are actually clicking on this title versus how many of them are clicking on this read more because I feel I should be getting rid of this read more. So I'm um, kind of collecting some you know, data points to validate my thought process. So I have these two things. These are all you know, CSS selectors, which will result in certain, you know, these triggers, right? For example, over here, if I show you one particular item, this trigger is going to happen when this dot read more link is clicked. And how is that coming up over here? I have in my markup this read more link class attached to the a tag. That's how now the trigger, the trigger will work. All right. So this is done. Now we need to add certain tags. The first one will be to track the basic page view of our website. Now I have a basic page view already in place for GA and there should be one for GA4 as well. Yep. This one. And we will need one more new one for mixed panel. So why don't we First of all, do MP page view. The trigger will be all pages. And maybe I'll add the history change as well. And then comes the configuration. So I'll do mix panel. The project token is from the variable that I have created. So mix panel project token. Hence, I don't need to add that again and again and maybe you know, when I change something, it will be easy to change that because I'll do it only in the variables place. 
now that now when you add this you get a lot of different things to track in mix panel but right now we are going with the basic track event in this i am able to add the name of the event it can be anything and i'll do page underscore view now i can add certain kinds of properties to the event and we will see what they are if you're not very clear right now the thing will be url and let me do maybe page path and i need the title let me see if i get the variable no i don't so maybe what i will do is page title variable configuration it's a javascript variable document dot title okay let me see this is going to be page title okay that's done uh, the event should be sent immediately right it should happen like this and then i have some advanced settings where one very important thing is no that's not inside advanced settings but rather initialization set options manually add options yes and in here there's one thing which i'll need to do which is ignore dnt true all right with this in place what we can potentially do is actually check whether things are working or not so i will come over here connect my website okay the basic connectivity is happening this is fine now it did get the mp page view and let me see over here parameters we have url page path and name title with value page title so let's see what are the variable values when the you know con you know the initialization happened page title is fine and page path is slash so this means if i now go to mix panel and if i try to hit refresh let me see if i get a few events okay i got one which is the page view which is correct and i got the title that's nice and i got the url so can you see this is the beauty of mix panel where and i have an event and this is the basic thing and I'm, i can already see that now let's just say i click on i'll clear this out and i'll click on web let's see if i get any data over here let's see what are the tags which got triggered i have a page view obviously and in here again the url and title was sent let me see what are the variables available to us we have page title okay this is a problem and it's a problem from my end because i haven't set the title so it is empty but the page path is available let me open up some article and see what is coming up so i'm here and then there was a history change again i can see the title over here which basically means that in the tags i would have got that tags fired two times correct so this is this is working let me go to mix panel we should see two more page views yes we do one is the url with slash web correct the title is oh it still got a title that's nice and page view this one surprisingly has no title and that's a bit weird because i was actually expecting a title in this particular case fair enough we'll have to look into this um not sure why this is happening but ideally it should have triggered let me actually try once more just to be sure so this is web and in here inside the variables i have this okay so web i am able to get the title now if i click on this maximize your e-commerce sales history change inside the variable 
I have this. Okay. Which means this tag should have got that. I don't know, maybe some mistake in the configuration, but I don't see that. Um, I'll wait for some time and you know, just understand if Mixpanel is properly tracking it or not. The event is also taking some time to come in. Right. But the basic things are working, at least the page view is. Let's just try and see if I can get the read more or the title being clicked. Okay, so I have a GA tag called, uh, sorry, I have a tag called GA article clicked. So maybe I'll need one more MP article clicked. I'll just copy this name so that you know, this, these are consistent. And click over here, do MP tag configurations. Now this is something which you know is a little worrying me because I am not able to get a, I would say like a configuration being saved somewhere so that this part is not you know something I'm tracking again and again but I can't find one so far but that's fine article title clicked okay this is the event name Again, I'll have, oops, URL, page path, title. Okay, again, in this, I think right now I can do this, which is page title. But ideally, I don't think it will make sense because the page title will only give me the current page title. And ideally, I would want in some way the actual title that was being clicked but that's fine um okay set options manually add options you see this is a little bit of a worry because i have to do it again and again and if i don't do that at some point it will fail which is not the best thing okay trigger is article title so i save this click on preview again says it's connected and we are here now ideally if i clear it out click on nest.js i have a page view nest.js page view so my mp page view was triggered and even my mp article title clicked was triggered and i can see the same two variables are available here so now if i refresh i had three page views let me see if we can see the article click. Yes, it is visible. Obviously, the limitation, the title right now is the current URL. So when I'm clicking from the home, it is the title of the home page. But ideally, I would like I would try to see if I can get the uh, data attribute where this actual value is available. But yeah, that's um, a lot more about Google Tag Manager configurations and not the mixed panel thing. So now we can look at that but yeah i mean as you can see right now i am able to track multiple events i have already configured the page view i have already configured the title clicked you know the read more is again going to be very similar is there a copy no not there but it will be similar so i'll just quickly do that again um this is read more clicked right Okay, this is GA, so I'll just name it accordingly. And it just helps in keeping things in control. New, and this is going to be MP. Trigger is read more. Again, the configuration, I'll have to do all of them again. Over here, so project token is mix panel project token, track, uh, read more, clicked over here. I'll have URL, page, path, and this one is title, page title, send immediately, initialization, manual options, and ignore DNT, true. With this in place, I'll just save this one again, do a preview and let's click on let me first clear it out 
I'll click on read more over here and I do see that because MP page view is here and then I have MP article read more clicked and similarly if I go home and click on improving user flow by analyzing Google Analytics data I'll see article title clicked and obviously now there are nine events and if I click on refresh I have 16 and out of that read more click is available to me and so is article clicked so yeah, that's about it guys that's how I am able to implement Google Tag Manager rather mix panel using Google Tag Manager so the ability to tweak things and make changes becomes very easy for me because I just now publish this entire thing and you know, my tracking code has been updated I don't need to worry about it I don't need to push a build or anything because everything is no code and you know, the events are being tracked over here but yeah that's about it guys that's how we can easily implement mix panel using google tag manager let me know what your thoughts are if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel